image. The door closes behind you, and suddenly the world disappears. No hum of electricity, no distant traffic, no whisper of air. Just a silence so complete it feels heavier than sound, as if it's pressing against your skin. For the first time in your life, you are not listening to the world. You are listening to yourself. This is the world's quietest room. It sits hidden inside a research facility built by Microsoft, designed not for meditation or mystery, but for science. Its walls are lined with thousands of jagged foam wedges that drink in sound, swallowing echoes before they can exist. Even the floor floats on springs, so vibrations from the earth itself can't sneak inside. When you step in, the silence doesn't feel peaceful. It feels wrong. At first, your brain panics. Humans evolved surrounded by noise, wind, insects, voices, danger. Silence like this has never existed in nature. With nothing external to focus on, your mind turns inward, and then you hear it. A faint, rhythmic thump, your heartbeat. People report hearing the blood rush through their veins, the subtle click of their joints, even the soft scrape of their eyelids blinking. Some describe the sound of their lungs expanding like bellows in a vast, empty cathedral. Others feel dizzy, disoriented, as if the room is tilting, because without sound, your sense of balance begins to unravel. Engineers discovered something unsettling. The longer someone stays inside, the louder their own body becomes. The silence amplifies the self. No one has ever lasted an hour in this room, not because it's dangerous, but because it's psychologically overwhelming. Without sound, the brain struggles to anchor reality. Some people start to feel detached, Others experience a creeping anxiety, the sense that something is deeply, fundamentally missing. Here's the twist. The room isn't truly silent. Absolute silence doesn't exist. What you're hearing is the loudest thing left when everything else is gone, your own existence echoing back at you. In a world drowning in notifications, engines, and endless noise, this room reveals something profound. Silence isn't empty, it's confrontational. It forces us to face what we usually drown out. Maybe that's why we don't seek perfect quiet. Because when the world finally stops speaking, we're left alone with ourselves. And that might be the loudest sound of all. If this story made you pause, reflect, or feel that eerie quiet for a moment, please like the video, share it with someone who loves mysteries of the mind, subscribe for more stories like this, and leave a comment. What do you think you'd hear in the quietest room on earth?